Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. What you guys just listened to is the brand new lineup from Dan Electro Pedals. Let's check them out. All right, let's start by going through some of the pros and cons of Dan Electro's new billionaire pedal line. Pro number one is this awesome little gig bag for your pedal. So not everybody has, you know, an established pedal board. So if you have one or two or three pedals that you're just collecting, um, you're likely probably gonna throw them in a backpack and head over to, you know, rehearsal or whatever. So having a, a bag to protect your pedal is awesome. So thanks Dan Electro for thinking of that. Um, really cool. Pro number two is true bypass switching on all the new pedals. So if you link a bunch of them together, it's not gonna suck your tone, which is awesome. And it's got soft, uh, soft switching on the foot switch, which is really smooth and works great. Pro number three are the aesthetics. I absolutely love the way these new uh, pedals are designed. So I love the slope. So, you know, when you go to stomp on the pedal, you're not gonna accidentally, you know, move your knobs around and change your settings, you're just gonna get the foot switch. So I think that's a, a really practical and, and great design. And of course, rugged metal housing, you're not gonna dent these things. And yeah, just the classic car colors. I think they look really cool mixed in with all my other pedals on the board. They stand out in a great way. Pro number four and one of the biggest deals is the price. So each one of these pedals is in and around 80 bucks, which is unbelievable for what you're getting. You're getting true bypass switching, um, a really cool fresh design, uh, soft switching on the switch, a really cool B logo that lights up. And as you guys heard in the intro, they sound fantastic. All right, so let's go through the features of each individual pedal. Now, when we recorded this, we used the Blue Angel amp, mic'd up with the Sennheiser E906 mic and straight into the computer. All right, let's start with the Pride of Texas. Now, what we're gonna do is take a clip from the solo and listen to it in isolation. Uh, let's check that out and we'll be back. So you can hear it really delivers that searing classic blues tone. Um, that's with the gain cranked almost all the way up. Um, from zero to about 12, you mostly get clean boost with just a slight bit of hair on the tone. And then from 12 all the way up, um, you can kind of dial in as much breakup as you need. It's got a two band EQ, treble and bass, and the volume control gives you so much clean boost. I rarely had it above like nine o'clock here. I, I couldn't even go up to 12 o'clock. It's just so much boost available. Um, so that's really cool too. Next up and one of my favorite new pedals in the lineup is the Big Spander, which is like a rotating speaker. So let's listen to the clip from the solo in isolation again and then talk about the features. So on the pedal itself, you've got a treble control, a speed control, and a volume control. And then effect on and off is on the one side, and on the other side is a ramp control. And so depending on you know where your speaker is set, if you have it set really fast and you hit ramp, um, the effect will start slow and slow and then gain speed until it's up to speed, just like you know an old Leslie or whatever. Um, so really, really cool. And you can ramp up and ramp down, which I think is, um, yeah, I know, it's just a lot of fun to play with. Next up in the solo, we broke out the Cash Cow. Now, in comparison to the Pride of Texas, uh, the Cash Cow has about 10 times the gain. It's got a ton more gain on tap, so you can think of the Pride of Texas as the low gain kind of breakup pedal, and the Cash Cow as the super high gain pedal. So let's take a listen to a chunk of the solo. Now on the pedal itself, the controls are similar to the Pride of Texas. So two band EQ, treble and bass, and then you have gain and volume, and you're gonna get lots of distortion all the way through the gain control. So tons on tap, great sounding pedal. Next on our solo, we used the Filthy Rich Tremolo. So I had this one set to soft and really, really deep. So it just gives you that sort of like pulsating sound that I just love. Let's take a listen to a chunk of the solo and we'll be back. Now on the pedal itself, we've got a soft or hard control, depending on how you want the waveform to be, um, a depth control, and a speed control. 
And that's about it. Simple, sounds great. And the final pedal in Dan Electro's new lineup is the Billion Dollar Boost. So this is a clean boost pedal. It's got a little toggle on the side if you want to cut the lows or just have the pedal flat, which is a nice feature. And then it's got Dan Electro's two band EQ, like the overdrive pedal, so a treble and a bass. And then you've got your volume. And you know, when I play clean through my amp and I match the volume with the clean boost here, um, like I mentioned, the volume barely, is barely up. So the rest of it is all boost and you know, it must be like 30 dB or something. There's a ton of boost available. Um, I'm not sure what the specs are, but yeah, you're never gonna run out of clean boost with this sucker. Now there's a couple different ways that you can use a clean boost. So if we you know, pair it up with the Pride of Texas and put it in front of the signal chain, um, it's gonna drive the Pride of Texas into a little bit more gain and a little bit more you know, um, saturation and smoothness. And if you took the clean boost and put it after in the signal chain, um, it's just gonna make your sound louder. So if you had a great sound lined up on the Pride of Texas and you wanted to solo, you'd put your clean boost after, kick it in, do your solo, kick it off, and you'd be, and you'd be back to your rhythm tone. So that's a couple ways uh, that you could use a clean boost. And that's it, you guys. That's a brief run through of Dan Electro's new billionaire pedal line. Um, true bypass, priced right, designed great, sounds great. Check them out. Um, I honestly was trying to think of some cons I could say for the video just to make it more interesting, but uh, these pedals are awesome. So check them out at your local music store. Um, I'll put a link uh, down below if you wanna check that out as well. Other than that, have a great week, you guys. We'll see you next time with a new video. Take care.